this movie, this movie, who will have thought that Texas Chainsaw Massacre would be so controversial because any any of the movies in the whole franchise has been this controversial before. Um, so I've seen so many good reviews, so many bad reviews, so many mixed reviews, terrible reviews from this movie. And this movie just came out like four days ago. So it's crazy. So who will have thought that Leatherface coming back in 2022 will be so controversial in the horror community? What we're going to do today is we're going to review the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 2022 released in Netflix so everyone can literally watch this at any time. So let's get into the video. So this is, I haven't done a full review in a very long time. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about uh, good things that the movie has, bad things that the movie has things that I would personally improve and um, we're going to talk about about like important characters my, mostly the main ones obviously is a slasher so we're going to talk about things like the kills the killer and the plot twist if that makes sense how the movie ended if I would like another movie if this should be stopped now first things first I have to say that I really thank this movie to be for being short because this movie, it gives what it has to give in an hour and 25 minutes. It's the same length as the original. Now, so like I said before, we're gonna talk about the positive aspects from this film, which are like quite a few in my opinion. And obviously before I start talking about them and the bad ones, just remember that everyone has a different opinion when it comes to movies. We will see movies from different perspectives. Maybe I'm looking for something in this movie, you're looking for another thing, and that's totally fine. And we just have to respect everyone's opinions because nobody is right and nobody is wrong. Positive things from this movie, the first one I think it will be Leatherface. Like I personally love this Leatherface because first of all it's kind of creepy, especially in the first act because you obviously don't see his face properly. I think this Leatherface is scary in my opinion, there is one scene where he just runs out of nowhere and that was amazing in my opinion as well. This Leatherface is brutal, he doesn't have mercy. He just doesn't care about anyone, he just cares about killing because he's annoyed because people came to his hometown out of nowhere and I think it works, I think this Leatherface works, it's one of the best Leatherface from this franchise. Another positive aspect that this movie has is the gore. This movie takes its title like so literal and the gore is amazing. Obviously I was not expecting big things from this movie and I think maybe that's why he hate different for me and I just wanted good kills and this movie gave me that. I think the kills are gorgeous, I think the practical effects or the CGI effects are great and there are so many memorable kills that you will remember after watching this movie. I don't know, I just love the gore, I'm a big fan of gore, to be honest, I love gore in horror movies. Leatherface literally uses, the, I think this is the movie where he uses his like chainsaw for the longest time and I think that's beautiful as well. Also another positive aspect and this might be controversial is the characters. Uh, I know I've seen people hating these characters because of the acting and because they are written and in my opinion these characters work for this movie. If you put these characters in another slasher movie maybe they wouldn't work but for a Texas Chainsaw Massacre they work, they have like chemistry. For example the two sisters I believe they were sisters and I believe they like they take care of each other, especially Lila. I believed her story. I believe she was traumatized. The same with Melody. I believe she's an influencer. I believe like she has a tons of followers and that she wants to make this impact in this hometown. And yeah, even though like the hometown characters, for example, the old lady from the house, uh, she was creepy and I love that. And the same with this guy, uh, I think he also worked. You believe this guy has been living in this town for a long time. Another good thing from this movie is the soundtrack. This soundtrack was beautiful. I loved, especially like the credits at the end. That sound, I need to find that song in Spotify because I haven't been able. And also I love how they added the original sound and the sounds from the chainsaw is so loud. I love the gore, the sound of the gore, especially when like bones crack. Um, when bodies are ripped off from like the cats. I love the whole soundtrack from this movie. I think it's beautiful. You just really feel the details from your, when the characters are like in the house. You really see, you really hear this house cracking. The movie has so many details when it comes to the sounds that are around. For example, Leatherface leather breathing when he puts the mask. 
to really feel that it's a face mask um because you feel like the skin touching his skin another positive thing from this movie is some cinematography i think this movie was beautiful shot and i love the yellow tone even though it's not as dark or as creepy compared to the remake or the 2006 movie i think this movie you really feel these characters are in Texas, even though this movie was not filmed in Texas. And you really feel they're hot again. You see their like the faces wet, their body. And I love that. I loved as well the night shots, they look gorgeous. The bus is in, the lighting is beautiful. You really see Leatherface blood and obviously the victim's blood with the like with the like the neon light and blue neon light and I think that was beautiful. I loved some shots are gorgeous and I just remember a few shots from the movie for example there is a scene where Leatherface is looking up in the bus and that's so creepy I also loved uh, there is one scene where Medley is attacking Leatherface with the chainsaw and you will know which scene I'm talking about and that shot was also gorgeous another positive aspect is the flashbacks to the original I love the opening scene the opening scene was beautiful and we know that in the Texas Chainsaw Massacres we always have this long total card explaining. This opening scene was that and I loved how they mentioned the original so many times. Because, for example, at the end of the movie there is a shot that recreates Sally but in a modern way if that makes sense with an autopilot. And I love that scene, that was so funny. You can tell it was like a mention to Sally from the original. Now, when it comes to the negative aspects from this film, I think the first one will have to be the way they treated Sally. Now, um, I personally liked her in this movie. I think she was needed, but I think this movie will survive without her. Uh, I did enjoy her performance. I did enjoy her presence, but I wish they will have shown her more that she was that she has been waiting for this night to come. She is supposed to like face and battle Leatherface, and when they do, it lasts for like five seconds. So it's like it doesn't make sense. I would have preferred Sally and Leatherface to fight like for a for a longer time if that makes sense, because she's been waiting for this night. She's been preparing, it. and also we all know what happens to Sally. I personally didn't like that. It was shocking. Don't get me wrong. But I would have preferred because she's the ultimate final girl. She's like the first ever final girl in horror. So the way they removed her, it was like I would have preferred her to survive, if that makes sense. Another negative aspect that this movie has, in my opinion, is Lila being a survivor of a, like a shooting uh, accident. Now, I understand why this wanted to include that because it's not a secret that that happens in a daily basis. But I think that doesn't really add up too much to the storyline. Another negative aspect that this movie has, and even though I love the movie, I think this movie is not strong. Um, it's a weak installment. It's just for the laughs, for the fun, for the entertainment. But apart from that, it's not as memorable as other installments in this franchise. Like, I will rewatch this and I would love to own this, but at the end of the day, this movie, just because I think it hit me just because I didn't expect it and I didn't expect big things, so I was not like hype, and I don't know if that's positive or negative. Now, let's talk about the storyline. I think the storyline, it works. I think it makes sense why these characters wanted to go to this hometown or Texas. And it's like it's out of the common from this whole franchise. Like it's not a group of friends driving through Texas. Like these characters they wanted to go near Texas, like by their own choice. And I think it works. I think the whole investment into this small town it made sense. I was interested, and I, that might be controversial because I've seen people hating that storyline. It made sense why these characters are facing Leatherface, if that makes sense. It made sense why Leatherface found them. And I think it worked. I don't know. Um, it's different, especially for a modern era. I loved how they included, let's say, TikTok and the comments. Because, to be honest, let's face it. If this happened in real life, I'm sure people will take their phones out and film instead of running away. I'm sure it will happen because some people are just 
so dumb and this movie showed that and I think that was fun and finally things that I will change from this movie is first of all I will have given Sally more screen time and I will have shown why she has been waiting for Leatherface for 50 years how she has been preparing what kind of thing she has done and just to conclude um, I gave this movie a 4 stars out of 5 and I think I'm gonna keep giving this film 4 stars because it gave me what I needed and what I wanted I was not expecting big things from this movie, so that's why I think I'm amazed and I'm so pleased. So that was it and that was my review from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. If you liked this movie, let me know in the comment section below. If you didn't like it, let me know in the, in the comment section below and why. And don't forget to follow me on my social media, I will leave all of that in the comment section below. And I will see you on the next video. Bye bye.